hi everyone so today's uh, topic is our uh, that uh, we are making a login system uh, if any person enters a username and password that will be checking from a backend that whether that username and password exist if that user and username and password exist in the backend of my table then the message will be displayed as login successful and if it is not there in you backend database uh, it will be displayed as a login not successful so for that we are making a table in a database let it be we are making a login table that will be having three fields id username and password to username and password i am assigning the value as where care and to the id i am assigning the value as int uh, declaring it as a primary and the auto increment so i'm gonna save this then i'm going to insert its value as default value as admin admin so that's my login table and its value is username and password as admin admin so now i'm going to make a form that will display as enter username enter password its name is un and its name is pw then i'm changing its name as login so i have mentioned a method dollar underscore post so here i will be mentioning here dollar underscore post i will be catching up with the username and password fields so here i am writing the query as select star from login where username equals to username and password equals to password so result my sql i underscore query connect query then basically I am going to count that how many rows are present in my result variable and then I am writing here as count 0 equal login successful and else it will be displayed as equal login not successful so login dot php so now i will be testing over here so if i'm writing over here is admin and admin so it's admin and admin username and password is been there in my table so it will it is displaying as login successful and if i'm writing as anything like abc or abc here it has been displaying the login not successful. So how it is working is that username password username and password we have catched in it in username and password variable. Then I am writing a query as let's start from login where username equals to username and password equals to password. Means it will check my login table and checks there that if same username and password that I have entered is available in my table or not. If it is available while executing MySQL I query, the result will be the data will be available in this result variable. So I am going to uh, like count how many rows are available in the result variable. So if the username and password matches within my table record, then the result will be having one row. Uh, so if MySQL I num rows will uh, after executing this function MySQL I num rows the count will variable will be having a value of one so i am then i am at, uh, like uh, making a if condition that if count is greater than zero then the message will be displayed as login successful if it is uh, if username and password does not find then the discount will be having a value of zero so if count is not greater than one then it will be displayed as login thanks for watching